Hey guys, so I haven't done a video since my first video, which was oh God, a few weeks ago now. I just thought I'd update you on my journey so far. So it's now been about three weeks since I came out to literally everyone. They've all taken it great, even my family. My brother's taken it best, but that was, that was going to happen. I went to GP yesterday. My lovely GP is currently in the process of writing a referral for me to go to Charing Cross. So that's great. I'm soon going to be on the waiting list and with the rest of the people that are sitting around waiting, doing nothing. I've also got a counselling appointment later, which I'm hoping will, hoping, will help me. Just to sort of come to terms with all this waiting that I've got to do and everything else that's going on in my life. It's been a difficult three weeks, so I'm not going to lie to you guys. There's been a lot of emotions and rants and conversations and tears and, oh gosh, everything. Life's not easy at the moment. I know when, I know people say that when you come out, it's going to be easier for you, and it's, it's not easier. It's made me happier, don't get me wrong, I'm honestly so happy to finally be able to be myself, but it's definitely not easy. Uh, I've also officially changed my name, I've got my little feed pole right here, yeah, see? Hopefully I won't get questioned when I go into clubs with this really female looking ID, which sucks. I'm keeping a list of everything um, pre-tea, such as all the foods that I love and all the foods that I hate because I've read around that when you go on testosterone your taste buds can change. I'm really interested to see if that's the case for me because I'll eat pretty much anything. Like, I'm, I'm not fussy, but there's some things that I eat like fish, oh gosh, uh, fish, cauliflower, radishes, beetroot, stuff like that, oh, just icky stuff that shouldn't be eaten in the first place. I mean, my favourite food at the moment is steak and chips, which pretty obvious. I don't like a steak and chips kind of guy. <laughs> favourite drink? Oh, it's actually difficult. If we went alcoholic, my favourite drink is honey jack and lemonade, just because it's weird like that. Favourite normal drink? I'm not sure, because I only really drink water, which is... Bit weird. Favourite pizza topping is chicken and barbecue sauce. That's basically it. I'm really plain, really boring. My favourite snack is Doritos, but the cool ones, like the blue ones, um, with salsa dip. That's a good snack. That's a really good snack. But then again, saying that, so it's brownies. I don't know how my taste buds are going to change, but that's everything I love and hate. So we'll see how that changes at some point. And I suppose I'll keep you updated on that. Finally did my measurements. Just everyone says, you know, pre-tea, do all your measurements, see how your body will change once you go on testosterone. And my measurements didn't make me happy. <laughs> I, I really hope the testosterone changes some of them, because some of them are a little bit um, feminine. <laughs> but hopefully it will change them. I'm just going to stare at my beautiful face for a few minutes. I've started to go find my page, and that's had mixed responses. I mean, there's obviously going to be the people that go pay for it yourself and blah -de blah and it's not like I'm not trying to pay for everything myself um it's just I don't work I don't go to college or uni or anything like that at the moment so I have no way of getting money right at this very minute I mean I'm not it's not like I'm not looking for jobs I am it's just not happening I've got to go find my page and I'll put it in the comments in case anybody's interested but it's basically if anybody's got a few pennies it's just to help me get New binders, to know, uh, change my documents, such as my passport, because that's going to cost about £40 or something like that. Any other things I need, um, I, it's just for stuff <laughs> that I can't afford to get but would make me happy. But some people think of it as me trying to make myself a charity and that's not it at all. I'm just asking for a few extra pennies to help me get by until I can actually sort of get by by myself because it's, it's not nice having to hope that other people will sort of help you out because in this even though you have so much support you kind of want to show that you're doing it yourself and it's it's all you um i got a new haircut as you might have seen my mum doesn't know about it but if she watches this video she'll probably find out and i do apologize mum i know i told you that i wouldn't get my hair cut short but yeah it was something i had to do it's 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 made me happy Honestly, it's made me happy and everybody said that they love it and it really suits me and I definitely feel more more masculine, I think the word is. 
The next video I am planning on doing is hopefully going to be a more upbeat one. <laughs> Um, probably be about like all the really stupid questions that us as transgenders get asked. Well, not even just transgenders, anybody that's sort of like, oh, I don't know, gender fluid, gender queer, any, anything else. So many labels these days, just the whole lot really. I mean, we all get the same sort of questions and it's ridiculous, but I'll do some questions and answers for that one. If you've got any questions that you might want to ask and add to it just to help me have more of a video then please do comment below or send me a private message or ask me on my blog on tumblr because i'll put that in the description as i always do i don't know when that'll be posted i mean i might do it straight after this video because i haven't done a few videos in a while so might be something to do um and another video i want to do is an interview with my brother but i have a feeling the only way he's going to do it is if his girlfriend gets involved as well so it might be with them too We'll see how it goes but it'll be nice just so you can see how he has reacted to all of it and with it being such a short amount of time he can still remember his feelings towards it because his memory sucks whatever see you soon